on an ordinary day, in an ordinary place, an extraordinary event. Every Tuesday lunchtime here at Sandringham Hub in Bedfordshire, a remarkable group gets together to set up and run their own pop-up eatery. What's extraordinary about the Hub Cafe is that it's been established, staffed and run by a group of adults with learning disability. It's giving them their first experience of working on a long-term project that's truly their own. My name is Lucy Geraghty. I make, I'm, I make food for, I prepare the food for the customers. Gives me skills, independence. Makes feel quite happy, yeah. Gets me out the flat. Hi, my name's Laura Taylor and I work at the cafe and um, I get all the cups out and that and put all the plates out and get all the washing up done and dry up and that. In the three years it's been running, the cafe's achieved notable success, including winning a Pride of Houghton Regis Award from the Town Council. It's financially healthy too, funded through its own takings and a grant from money raised by Health Courage through the Health Lottery. And it's proved truly popular, gaining a loyal customer base of regulars. It's been really good, yeah. Look, make sure they look after you, make sure if there's anything else you need. I think it's really friendly, it's very, um, you know, very inviting um, and I think more people need to know about it. I think that they do amazing work here. There's, there's a difference, but it's a good difference. It's not, it's not like any other place. Excellent. Really great guys. Excellent service. Really support the guys. And, yeah, they do a brilliant job. And then we need one peppermint tea, please. One peppermint tea. All this didn't happen overnight. In 2012, while consulting on Central Bedfordshire Council's learning disability strategy, Right Track, a non-profit community interest company, found that vulnerable people wanted purposeful, worthwhile and rewarding activities. This included the chance to work. One of the big messages that came through was people wanted jobs and they wanted real jobs. And, and what happens to people with a learning disability that doesn't happen to other people is if you're good at something, you get moved on. So people were having jobs on, in cafes through college courses, and then they were getting really good at it and passing the course, and they couldn't do that course again, so they lost the job. Um, the same was happening with work experience. And, and the guys from Houghton Regis in particular, some of whom are now cafe team members, said, we want to work in a cafe and we want it to be a job that lasts. It was important that any scheme wasn't imposed top-down, but came from those who would be running it. So the initial thought for a cafe came from Martin Hopewell. Yeah, you did the consultation, didn't yeah. you? And you asked people about work. And they said they wanted to work in a cafe. And they wanted it to, and you talked about the hub. Yeah. And having a, a cafe at the hub. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It took a year of planning and training in everything from food hygiene to carrying crockery before the six strong team decided they were ready to serve their first paying customers. Can I please see what cake selection you have? Since it opened in May 2014, they've literally served hundreds of people. Jane Elder, my role is to introduce people. They, when they come in. And how do you like that work? I enjoy it. And what makes you, what is it about your personality, Jane, that makes you the perfect person for that? Well, it introduced me, to, I, I like to get involved with, in, in with people. Involved with people, in, in, in new people. It's all down to impressive teamwork. Each member chooses a job that suits them best, either front of house or behind the scenes. Right, Robert, let's have a look at today's menu then, shall we? Every week, the first task is to draw up the menu of hot and cold snacks. Others get busy in the kitchen, while the tables are set and prepared for their first diners, and the waiters stand ready to take their orders. I'm Robert Fraser, and I work at the cafe. 
And what's your what's your speciality, Robert? What do you do particularly at the cafe? How how do you how do you help? What's your role? I help people. Yeah. In what way? Well, by caring. Yeah. But I've seen you at work. You're you're a waiter, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and, and what what do you enjoy about that? What what do you get from it? S serving people. So successful has the cafe been that every couple of months they take it out to the local Baptist church where they provide up to 40 lunches. It's become a popular fixture on the calendar of the local over 50s club. Church is often about creating community uh, in different sorts of ways and uh, there's, there's, you can see that that has happened. You could see probably even yourself just coming in this morning, uh, the sense of engagement, the comfort there is in the relationship uh, and the enjoyment there is as well. They're wonderful people, they do marvellous service for us. We've also been round to the hub to have tea and coffee around there. Their prices are very reasonable and they're always so polite and everywhere is always so clean. <laughs> Having set it up, Right Track's involvement is coming to an end. The cafe intends to continue though. Certainly its enthusiastic creators are determined that having brought new purpose for them and pleasure to so many, the hub set to remain very much part of the menu of local life for a long time to come. It would be lovely to just say a huge thank you to them and um, we look forward to the next time as well. <laughs>